Happy Jazz Day. Welcome to another chat with a featured performer at Dazzle at Bowers. In commemoration with Women's History Month, March, I have special invited guests to talk to, Don Clement. I'm Ituro Gomez of Kuvo Jazz. We're in the Bumpy's Staten Performance Studio. And Don, thank you so much for taking some time to be with us this afternoon. Right now, we're uh, recording this on a snowy and cold afternoon, and it's awfully nice that you came down to share some of your precious time with us. Thank you for having me. And Don, you relocated to the Mile High City of Denver from the Emerald City of Seattle about four years ago. You have made an impact onto the Denver jazz scene immediately. You're part of the faculty of Metro State University, and your contributions as a pianist and vocalist have been very well accepted here in the Denver jazz community. So thank you so much for deciding to relocate to Denver. Thank you. It's been a blessing to be here, and I think that says a lot about the musicians here, how welcoming they are. We are blessed here in Denver that our musicians' community is kind of unique. It doesn't have the typical highly competitive nature of some of the other jazz communities around the country. It's not, pardon the pun, a doggy dog world here. We kind of work together for a common goal. I'd agree with that. And I, I think uh, there seems to be an interest in allowing musicians to do their own music here. It seems there's an audience for that and support for that, along with the standards and tradition. But I have felt completely encouraged and welcomed to do my music. And that's just huge. It is. And uh, you have done many shows around town at Dazzle and other locations. Uh, one of my fond memories was this past summer when we were up at the farm in Longmont with uh, uh, Melanie Charles and uh, I forget her name on baritone right now. Claire Daly. Claire Daly. That was a great show. Brad Good was there. And and you played a variety of music. And towards the end, you got everybody dancing. You even got up and danced. <laughs> that was great. We had the pigs dancing too, right? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. One of your past recordings is titled Island. I'm curious because subtitle is Paris, Seattle, Glendale, and I forget the fourth city. But they're not islands, yet the album is titled Island. I would credit that to my sister. She, um, those are all places that I've been and lived. And Islands was a pet project in a way. We were in the thick of COVID. Um, I was struggling with my own personal discouragement, not playing gigs, not able to make music with other musicians in the way that we love to do and thrive on doing. And, uh, you know, so many of my friends and colleagues in the business were going through the same thing. So it was an opportunity to collaborate with John Solo, a guy I went to college with years ago. Well, actually, only five years ago. Um, but John and I, we'd always talked about making a a project together and he was home you know he's usually on the road but he had some time he's a producer and uh, we we did that remotely um, Brooklyn to Denver I recorded all my vocals in the basement of my home I recorded piano and and the roads tracks from home and from the office and um, it was really like a self therapy project right we made these songs, we did one a month, we included a guest on each track, and I'm really proud of it. Um, so it's my COVID record. Those aren't islands, but they're separate. I understand. <laughs> and the reference to Glendale, there are many Glendales across the country. Would that happen to be the Glendale next to Pasadena <laughs> in Los Angeles area? Glendale, Oregon. Ah, Glendale, Oregon. Okay. I didn't know there was a Glendale in Oregon. <laughs> However, I'm not surprised because just about every state has a Glendale. Right. Your next project, of which is the uh, subject matter that you'll be performing 
at Dazzle. It will be on Thursday, the 24th of March. It's a 6.30 p.m. show. You can go to DazzleDenver.com for advanced tickets. This is something new, and it has a very uh, pretty name that I had to look up to find the definition of, and it's the Esthesis Quartet. Tell us a little bit about not only the name, but also the makeup of this quartet, which is I find appropriate for Women's History Month. So very much. Um, Esthesis Quartet is comprised of all female musicians. We have Elsa Nielsen playing flutes, Tina Raymond playing drums, Emma Dayhuff playing bass, and myself singing and playing keys. We started out um, in a similar fashion to Islands. We needed some support, and we started out meeting on Zoom um, to support one another in composition. It, it kind of became a a comp club once a month we'd meet we'd chat about stuff i had never met emma in person i knew tina from oh one or two things we'd run into each other and we always said man we gotta play elsa and i knew each other way back in the day in seattle uh, she'd probably hate this but she was one of my first students i ever had teaching so i am so proud and i'm so grateful because it's the beautiful journey of music here we are full circle collaborating in a band together. Um, but we were in the midst of COVID, meeting virtually. And so that title is thesis. That word means elementary sensation of touch. And we were deprived of that, right? So what became a comp club turned into, oh yeah, well, let's start tracking this. So we started putting tracks together virtually. And when it felt okay to venture out, we met in LA. In August, we played our first gig this past August, and we recorded two albums' length of, of music. Also, uh, this is one release coming up, and then there'll be another one so-called in the can for a future release. Is that the plan? All right. And this will be both the physical CD and a download online? It's already ready to go on Bandcamp. Bandcamp. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And I assume that you will have copies of the physical CD when you perform at Dazzle at Bowers on Thursday the 24th at 6.30. We will have very special early copies. And I'm sure if the audience wishes, they won't have to twist your arm to have you sign it for them and dedicate it to them? Even we can include a song and dance in that too. Oh my, you get more than you bargained for. <laughs> I have been chatting with Dawn Clement, and she'll be performing, as you just heard, on Thursday, March 24th, Dazzle at Bowers, part of Women's History Month, March. And uh, I look forward to the show. I enjoy your playing because although you're perfectly capable of playing so-called traditional jazz and do the covers of standards and, you know, do the, the typical, you know, beats of jazz, you're also on the edge pushing the music forward as we progress in the world that we live in, which is what jazz is all about. Since the beginning of jazz in the early 1920s through the 30s, swing and 40s, bop and post-bop and soul movement, jazz has always progressed. And that's good that you are doing the same to keep this music fresh and exciting. Thank you, Arturo. Until next month, when we meet again, I'm Arturo Gomez of Kubo Jazz, along with Don Clement, and we bid you a very happy music day. <laughs>